I'd better not have to control all the options for this baby, okay? I I'm gonna be hands off. <laughs> it's all on Tina. Congratulations, you have a purpose now. Was the name not Tina? Did I get that wrong? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Imagine Lifetimes, a simulation game that apparently questions the meaning of life. And considering I question the meaning of life every time I play one of these weird games on the channel, I figure this should be right up my alley. It's a little weird that there's no main menu or option to start. I think we're about to start. <laughs> I think I just won the race. You were born. Oh, and it's narrated. Interesting. In a random place. Technically, half of me won the race. The other half was the finish line. At a random time. With a random set of jeans. Oh, look at you. Now, who's your favorite parent? Please tell me that my eyes opened sideways like some kind of goat lizard and that that wasn't the inside of my mom's coochie. Was I even born with eyes? I don't have a face, I'm just a smooth, concrete baby. Makes you wonder how I'm gonna say my first words without a mouth. <laughs> but I'm just assuming these are all different ways of saying the same thing. And we're pointing at dad right now, so sorry mom. I'm not gonna grow up to be a mama's boy. Concrete baby has decided the favorite parent is dad. Just say the word, sweetie. Dad. Picture it less human-like and more like a brick being bounced across a warehouse floor. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> I knew he'd be proud of that. All right, listen up now. Before we send you out into the world, you're going to have to make some important decisions. Important decisions, like choose your favorite childhood toy, the creepy Muppet, the TV remotes, or the foot. I should have chosen mom as the favorite parent. <laughs> Dad, you idiot. Okay, oh, I want the TV remote. Screw it. You see, the choices you're about to make will affect your character's traits, strengths, and weaknesses in life. Oh, I have no doubt that was probably a weakness I just chose. Choose a kindergarten exercise. Playing with blocks, painting a house, or reading the alphabet. I was kind of assuming that there would always be like, a, a clearly worse option, you know, uh, play with your friends, uh, play sports, or stick a fork in an outlet, that kind of thing. <laughs> but apparently I can't screw up my life on purpose all that much. Uh, I I'm gonna play with blocks. How about that? We're gonna build stuff. You know this is about your future, right? You should get started right away. Once you're done with these, you'll be ready to face whatever's out there for sure. Choose some friends. Why is everybody all peachy and skin colored except for me? I'm gonna be friends with a weird kid who drives around in a wagon all the time because the lower half of his body melted. <laughs> He's just a bottle from the waist down. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be best friends. And I'm guessing by befriending you, I've ostracized half a dozen people. That's weird. Uh, should I be revisiting my options here? What else have we got? Why is that Mrs. like a foot taller than everyone else? <laughs> What's your deal? Oh. Uh. Okay. I don't know what any of this does, but I'm I'm just gonna pick everybody. I think I just befriended the teacher. That point, yeah, the whole class is just a, a rainbow of emotions. Lock it in. Hmm. Hmm. That's all you got for me? Choose your playground adventure. Flipping sandcastles, kicking a ball, jumping rope, teeter-totter, okay, come on, where's the fork in the outlets? <laughs> Riding a bike, playing hide and seek with a girl. Am I a guy? I don't even know. Uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, hide and seek with a girl, sounds good. Nicely done. Thank you, finally. Whoa, what's that on your face? A wild pimple appeared. Dad, I, I kind of wanted to say that I I'm expecting a little more critical analysis from you, okay? A little more guidance. You can't just, hmm, good job, okay. You're, you're supposed to be a parent, do some parenting. <laughs> Help me out here. Ew, ew, oh, it's, it's throbbing. Dad, I can't get rid of this. What? 
It's just my luck to meet a girl for the first time. You'll play hide and seek with her and then have her find me with a giant throbbing pimple that just will- Oh! It looks like someone is growing up. Shut up, mom! You're just upset you're not the favorites! <laughs> oh god, that was worse than your cooch. Uh, choose a high school sport. Football, swimming, feet? I'm assuming that's gonna be like track and field or something. <laughs> Baseball or volleyball? Man, I don't know. Um, I I'll play baseball. How about that? Awesome. Go for it. I will. I did. Choose your crush. Wait a second. Okay, the ratio in this classroom is just a little off, right? We've got six guys, three girls, but. We also have a teacher. Actually, is that a dude? It kind of looks like Loki. It might be a lady. Mrs. Robinson. I mean, is that a bad idea? Time has been passing. Right, concrete baby could be concrete adolescence now. These people look like they could be 18. And it's just a crush, right? Just a harmless crush, not a big deal. Did you just... Shut up, dad, she's hot. Choose an after-school activity. Oh, none of these are Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> what do we got? Eating cookies, looking at our phone, drinking Pepsi, smoking. Is that picking your nose? I think that's a nose or video games. I mean, I should just choose something like smoking or picking your nose if I want to screw up my life, but I, I kind of want to just choose video games. We'll choose picking our nose. Oh, nothing. Oh, interesting. Smoking, drinking, swiping, eating, or... Well, we'll choose gaming. Screw it. I see. Why don't you do something productive instead? Why do you sound so disappointed? <laughs> I could have chosen anything there, and Dad would have been disappointed in me. Is it because I'm a freak? Is it because I'm a faceless, concrete child? Choose your first part-time job. Newspaper delivery, fast food, or... Cashier? Newspaper delivery is actually pretty dope. That was my first job, and you just walk around your neighborhood putting stuff in people's mailboxes. It's way easier than sweating it out in a fast food restaurant or some crappy grocery store. Yeah, okay, we'll be, uh, that's a controller. You can't use that to deliver newspapers. We're not playing paper boy, we're gonna be a paper boy. Well played. Dad's getting the lingo. Way to go, Dad. Choose a college major. Um, oh, okay, we've got some decisions to make. Again, I was really hoping some of these options would be terrible. And I mean, some of them are pretty freaking bad, let's be completely honest. <laughs> I'd say half of this list will not land you a job in your lifetime, but they're all legitimate. Like, I can't get a college major in Mrs. Robinson, even though it's where I want to be. We'll choose video game design. Yeah, okay, that, that's our passion. Sure, why not? Exactly, why not? You're paying for it, Dad. Congratulations. Time flies, doesn't it? Yeah, that was, what, like five, ten minutes-ish? <laughs> Easiest life ever. And I gained a little color. All right. Go ahead. Choose your path. In all reality, I probably just painted myself to look like everybody so that I kind of blend in. Oh, this is different all of a sudden. But now I have to choose my path. And I'm guessing we were given these paths based off of the decisions that we've already made. Except I can't choose all of them. Some of them I don't have the requirements for. For example, if I want to have my own little concrete baby, then I first need a baby mama. If I want to get married, then first I need a baby mama. <laughs> so I'm guessing the answer is find ourselves a baby mama? Maybe we can also get a career which is recommended, Ooh, or we could travel. Uh, I'm not here to make the right decisions in life. I'm here to knock up ladies and have little freak babies. So tell me, how's your love life coming along? Is that really any of your concern, father? <laughs> uh, choose your preference setting. Um, I would like to find a baby mama. Click swipe left to dismiss. Click swipe right to approve. 
this. There we go. Oh, hello, Tina. Swipe to collect potential matches. Sure. Ah, uh, nah, you can go. Yeah, all right. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll take you. You guys don't have many characteristics. Ah, get out of here, you. Nah. We good? Can I just, just keep? Yeah, we'll just do a little something like this. Are you judging me, Dad? Was that judge? Hey, 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 I wasn't done there. Choose a partner. These weren't my preferences, but I'm guessing I don't really get a choice after just going crazy. I don't really consider myself to be a superficial person, but if I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with somebody, I should probably see them below the collarbone first. <laughs> or know their name, that would be really helpful. Oh right, Tina, Jude, or I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. We'll go with Tina, lock it in. Sure, why not? Why not, right? It's just who I'm marrying. Choose your type of date. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we can have a romantic candlelit dinner, campsite fire, or a light bulb. What? What would this be? An intellectual date. Oh, yes. Well played. Thank you, father. I'm so... Whoa, whoa, choose your next move. Oh, the intellectual Netflix and chills. One time thing? Escape? <laughs> or make it official? I mean, I'm supposed to be getting married and having a concrete baby, but... Actually, that might result in... Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll lock it in. One time thing. All right, next one. Why was she laughing at me? That hurts. <laughs> Wait, so, oh man, I thought I would get more options than, you know, my silver and bronze medal. Uh, we'll go with you, Jude. You're gonna be the official one. Okay. Okay. Thank you for chiming in every now and then, Dad. I'm, I'm wondering if this is my dad. I'm just saying, it's it's a little concerning. We're gonna go on a, a romantic date. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, we, we wanna be romantic. Choose your next move. I still wanna pound pissers, but I'm guessing that'll come later. We'll, we'll go with make it official. Wonderful. So how did you two meet? Where the hell did mom come from? <laughs> she been watching the whole time? Oh, okay. So now, some paths are closed off, and some paths are still available. So I should probably still get a career, or I could repeat and get a different partner. Interesting. <laughs> Can't get a house. You don't need a house to have a baby, right? Family path, but yeah, let's just have a little concrete baby. We could sleep in a tent or something like that, it's fine. Are you ready for that? Are you gonna judge me throughout life? Choose a delivery method. So, do we want to squirt one in her? Do we want to mail order a baby? Or do we want to make one in a lab? I mean, sucks for her, having a concrete baby is probably not all that much fun, but it's fun for me, so. <laughs> DIY works. Right. Right, right, can, can you go away for like five minutes, 60 seconds, that works too? Fertilize the egg, whoa, 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 am I, am I supposed to be doing something? Egg, get back here. Did I just ruin my chances? Oh no, never mind. The race is on. We're, we're good. <laughs> this had better not restart the game. Fertilization zero percent. What is love? Uh, chemist, chemist, chemistry, chemistry. Failure. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You didn't give me options. Okay, I know how to swim now. I got it. We're under control. What is confusing? This question or this answer? Ah, uh, this question. How do I know what the right answer is? What? What am I doing with my life right now? This is the point where I question life. What is time reversible? Or ticking, 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 ticking. I, I just, I don't have enough time to make witty commentary and think and answer. <laughs> Dad, where did you go? What is existence, dreadful or painful? Uh, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And I lost. So, no baby? I guess in all reality, I'm fine with that. Right, you don't want to have a baby right off the bat. You want to spend a little time having fun making one. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's try that again. You got any more stupid, stupid questions for me, Dad? Yeah, you, you get running, Egg. Give you a bit of a head start. And we'll release the clowns. 
<laughs> I just need to choose any answer, okay? It's a 50-50 chance. I really have no idea what would or wouldn't be right. Come on, what do you got for me? Hit me with the big ones. What is four plus two? Six. Not quite the same level of question as before. <laughs> Maybe it's easier the second time around? What is death, preventable or inevitable? It's inevitable, right? Not preventable yet. 3%. What do we have? Uh, four more questions, five more questions. What is time, ticking or reversible? It's ticking. Oh. I, I assume that A is on top and then B, but they keep switching it up. That's how they get you. Like three more questions, we could do. What is your body, deteriorating or indestructible? Deteriorating. Even I feel old playing these games now. <laughs> I definitely feel like I am deteriorating. Come on, how do you, how are you 67% fertilized? What is love, destiny or chemistry? It's, it's chemistry. There we go, good. Oh, oh, look, it's thinning out the herd. There's only two left. <laughs> we got a front runner. We, we definitely have a front. What is this significant, you, nothing. Me, me, I'm significant. Oh, screw you. I'm the most significant. I'm the important boy. I'm the one who swims. What is money? Everything or required? Required. Are we good and fertilized now? There we go. Ooh. I'd better not have to control all the options for this baby, okay? I'm gonna be hands off. It's all on Tina. Congratulations. You have a purpose now. Is the name not Tina? Did I get that wrong? <laughs> she seems real mad. Okay, yeah, I had a baby. That was easy. Oh, probably should have got married before having that baby. Was that what you were talking about, Dad? <laughs> I thought you meant the career in the house. And in my defense, usually you read from left to right. So you put the least important to the more important. There's supposed to be a pecking order here. They just jumbled it, so I don't know what I'm doing. Can I get a career now? Can I design the video games now that I have a kid? Oh, this one's important. Yeah, you don't say. Choose your search method. Oh, how we're gonna search for a job. Okay, so do we want to network? Do we want to look online? Or do we want to look in newspapers? Probably the internet, right? For a video game job? He doesn't understand the internet. Don't worry about him. Choose a career. Video games, video games, or video games. <laughs> what have we got? Game developer, indie game developer, or IT consultant? Um. Oh, really? What are you willing to bet that the author of this game gave you this decision so that he could give you some snarky remark when you choose to be a game developer over an indie game developer? <laughs> Well, considering this game was free and my concrete baby doesn't survive off of good intentions, as good as they be, I appreciate the fact that your game is free. I really enjoy it. Thank you. I would have paid for this. I'm going to be a game developer. I think you made the right choice. Oh. Well then. Sign the contract. Um. That's not how contracts are supposed to work. Employment agreement. This agreement is made today between you and your employer. Title game developer, from whenever to whenever, however many days a week for X amount of salary with some kind of benefits. You gotta be kidding me. Considering I don't even know the name of my wife or child, I don't really care about how many hours I'm working or my benefits. I'm just gonna try for the highest salary possible. I just need to get the beats down here. It's really difficult. Uh, oh, okay, no, I have the pen now. Step one is picking up the pen, and then... Yeah. That was one of the lowest ones. Oh, loads of benefits, Nicely and done. five days a week? That's all right, I suppose. Work things out. Uh, hello, you must be our latest recruit. Welcome, and good luck today. Let's find someone to get you started. Elodie. What? What? An uh, awkward colleague. Who's a Lodi? Uh, yes. Uh, hello and uh, welcome. Uh, the way to do things is this: uh, get everything in the green, not red. I will watch you. You kind of look like my school teacher. <laughs> is that you, Mrs. 
Kerbopple or whatever the hell your name was? I don't remember. Get, get everything in green, not red. I, I know, I'm just wondering why I'm talking to you through a freaking Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, something like this and boop. How's that? Good? That, that looks pretty good. Friendly colleague. Hello. Can I please get a one, two, three, four? Thank you. One, two, three, four. You're welcome. Oh, 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 you bitch. No, you did not just screw with my career. Okay, hold on now. Uh, Something like that. There we go. How's that? Better? Okay, get out of here, friendly career. Impatient colleague. Uh, hey, you, fetch me the... 3179 ASAP. Is this supposed to change over time or are they just screwing with me? No, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. 3179 and boop. There we go. Okay. Hit the road, muffin time. No. What? What? No, I I had it. I I I had it. You three, two, uh, one, two, four, three, five. One, two, four, three. One, two, four, three, five. There we go. That goes over here. And then all the buttons and the sliders. Go away. Go, that, that was it. That that was it. Oh, I don't like this lady. I do not like you. I do not like, that's it. Go, go, go be gone. Oh, what do you want more? Oh, you're getting real impatient now. One, nine, two. Fine, fine. You know what? I don't care. I don't, I don't even care. You shout up your butt. Sneaky boss. I recalculated your paycheck. You could do that? Special taxes have increased. Special? Are you calling me special? That's discriminatory, okay? We concrete babies do not take kindly to that. Did I just get paid in coins? I will Your be first paycheck. speaking but to my representative. Father, are you my representative? <laughs> I feel attacked. So is now a good time to get married? I still haven't really gotten to know my wife. For all I know, my kid could be the size of a potato or, or old enough to shave, but screw it. You will now happily share the rest of your meaningful lives together. Okay, uh, she's saying no. Choose the size of the ring. Oh, well, if you're gonna say no, you get it smaller. <laughs> really? Is that, is there a walk away option? How do I make this, oh, a little bigger? Little bigger. Little, really? Lady. Is it, is it, okay, hold on, I'm gonna dial it, no, oh, careful, I'm gonna dial it back just a touch after she says yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? She's the worst. It's like someone didn't give me any options around here. Choose the amount of invitations. Oh, oh dear. Um, let's have a big wedding. Oh, shit. Who's going to pay for that? Not me, I spent all my money on a shitty ring. Uh, choose a color for the napkin. Uh, uh, okay, oh, we'll, we'll go with a uh, bit of a, a, a concrete-y color. Yeah, okay, th th those are the family colors. All right, next one. What's next? I, I don't know, you're apparently planning my wedding. Choose the size of your cake. Well, I'm apparently having like, a game-breakingly high amount of guests, so a uh, little tiny cake. There you go. I hereby declare you partners in life. Hey, thank you. Hey, no, nobody gets any cake. Just get one little, one little finger taste. That's it, that was the whole wedding? What about the wedding night? Well, I apparently can't travel to my honeymoon because that requires freedom and I have a faceless, nameless family to take care of. I, I can't retire, so I guess we're getting ourselves a house. Ah, yes. You guys really want to give up the life of a tent? Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, we'll move up to a trailer. Like that, trailer home or small apartment? Are those my only options right now? <laughs> Game developer salary, man, I'm telling you. Okay, trailer home will work, thank you. I think you made the right choice. Yeah, a little freedom, you right? We can do whatever we want, move your you stuff. It? I don't have a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm literally moving it. I thought there would be more options if I wasn't so poor and stupid, but apparently not. Okay, my stuff is Dude, moved. You must be exhausted. I am just sweating bullets. Choose a pet. Oh, that dog looks like he's straight out of hell. What's wrong with his eyes? I want him anyway. I'm gonna have a dog. Hmm. Hmm? Really? Choose a decorative plant. I don't think we should get a cactus. The dog might eat it. I'll get this. This looks dog friendly. Madagascar dragon tree. 
cool. Sure. Sure. I, I don't see how that has any factor in my life. Choose the size of your television, easy. A flat screen TV? You've really got your life together. Really? Are there non-flat screen TVs anymore? I, I honestly don't know. I don't think there are. Okay, so we have a huge TV and a tiny home. <laughs> and now I guess we can retire and then hopefully die. Take a seat. You've earned every second of it. Okay. Um, do I need to pay the lamp to stop dosy -si doing around my seat? Because that's really annoying. <laughs> can, can you maybe just, 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 just calm, calm, calm down. Okay, well, I'll take a seat first. I can't take the seat. I can only turn off the lamp. Oh. Is time passing behind me? I'm so confused. Is this death? I feel like I should be dead right now. <laughs> Enjoy the comforts of your retirement home. I'm trying, but I, I can't do anything. What if I just... Oh. The, the clock is getting more opaque every time. Is that true? Kind of looks like it. This is weird. Ooh! Time's up. This whole game is weird. Who am I kidding? What just happened? That genuinely scared me. It was going back and forth for like two minutes. I got into a trance. Uh, is that me? I hope that's my wife. I'm so oh, sorry, but you, you're dead. And you're you still could start over. No. Did you change anything? No, no. No, no, you, you're not supposed to be talking to me anymore. Death is my escape from you, father. You, you can't just be whispering in my ears for all eternity. I feel pretty good about my decisions, dad. The giant TV, the dog I never met, the kid who I never saw. All those things, they were, they were all wonderful ideas. Everything went according to plan. You shut the hell up, I know you're watching. Mother, you're there too, aren't you? You're quietly in the corner somewhere? <laughs> this game is making me freaking paranoid. I mean, I made so many decisions that I don't know what their purpose was. Like the TV remote and the plant and so many other little things. Weird. And then it starts over again. No, I'm good with one life. No, 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 thank you. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Imagine Lifetimes, guys. And apparently there are a lot of different options in this game. A lot of different outcomes, a lot of different decisions. The different things could have popped up during my childhood because a lot of it is random. You know, your parents, your genetics, where you're born, what time, all that stuff it said at the beginning. And then based on your decisions, you could have a very different life. So if you guys wanna see another episode of this, as always, just be sure to leave a look in the video, let me know and maybe Concrete Baby will return to Take that teacher. I want to know if you can take the teacher. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Did you